you have Irene, you have L. Okay, so this is clearly branch Y. Took, not so. Remaining, rest, left, left, right, and then uh, you see another left. So, and somehow you have a lot of fractions. Okay, so this is clearly our branch. Use we should use our branch method. Okay, so the structure of the branch method is, this is what you start with. Okay, and then sometimes it might be say, okay, our three third of let's say you start with. You don't know you start with how much so. Just take it as total, right? Yeah. So let's say you you use uh, one third of the total, one third t, so use right. Then two third t left, right? Yeah. So this is the general structure. Or you start with the total, which you don't know. Let's say you use twenty dollars. So how much is left? Total minus twenty, right? Okay. So this this two, right? They are the general structures of our branch method. So I'm going to use this over here. Now, three of them will give you the total, right? Because they share a box of bits. So meaning the total bits is come from K, Irene, and Lin, right? So the total number of bits will go to K, we go to I, we go to L. Okay? So now the question is, K receive how much? K receive 2, 7 of the bit. So 2, 7 of T, does it make sense? Yeah. Mm. So I write the K I L at the back. This is K, this is I, this is L. So 27T is K because of this. Okay? Yeah. And now they say Irene took 3 8 of the remaining, so I need to get the remaining first before I go up before I go to Irene. I cannot write 3 8 T is Irene. Do you know why? What's the meaning of this? Yes, the, the meaning of this is 3 8 of the total, but over here the question says it's 3 8 of the remaining, so you need to get the remaining first. So therefore, I cannot start like this. I need to get the remaining first. So as the remaining, 2 7 t is k, remaining is 5 over 7 t, right? Right? Yeah. Then from here, I can use the 3 8 because it's 3 8 of the remaining. So it's 3 8 of the remaining times, times what? Times the l remaining, which is this. And this will be Irene, right? So 3 8 of this is Irene. So 5 8 of the remaining will be Lin. Does it make sense? And now the question says Lin took 12 fewer than Irene. So which one minus which one is 12? So Lin took 12 fewer. So that means Irene minus Lin is equal to 12, right? So which one is Irene? This is Irene, right? Yeah. Which one is Lin? This one is Lin, right? Yeah. So you should take Irene minus the Lin is equal to 12. So I'm going to do that. But before you do that, you can use a calculator to simplify this for me. So what is the, the simplified version of this first? Can you help me out with the calculator? Or if you can do it uh, mentally, you can 3 times 5, 15. 8 times 7 is 56. So that is Irene. What is Lin? 5 times 5 is 25, 8 times 7 is 56 T. So therefore this is Lin. So you use Irene, Irene minus Irene minus Lin, so it's Irene, which is 15, 56 T. Let me see, did I make a mistake? Mm. Ah, I'm wrong. Do you know why? Because they say Lin took 12 fewer. So what's the meaning of this? Because I realized, right, in the end, there were 52 bits left in the box. So that means the rest is not, not lean. Yeah. yeah. So you see, you can make a mis basically you can make mistake along the way, but somehow you need to read the question. And if you make a mistake, you need to cause correct. Cause correct means Okay. So this is not lean. Okay. But what is lean then? Uh. Lean is. 12 fewer than Irene. So if this is Irene, so Lin will be? Yes, so that, is that will be uh, 15 over 56 T minus 12. Those will be Lin, right? And with this plus the 52, that will be the left. 
Does it make sense? Mm. And the left is also 5 over 8 times the 5 over 70. So now this is the left. Right? Yeah. Okay. So this is Irene. So 5, 8 times this T is the left. And this left ha happen to be 52 and lean, right? So therefore, you equate these two. Okay, so I'm going to equate it. So this is 25, 56t is equal to everything here. So this one minus 12 plus 52. Can you have, okay. So over here is 40. This two, you add up is 40. So basically, this is equal to 15, 56t plus 40. And 40 will be equals to this one minus this one. And this happened to be 10 over 56. Sorry, I'm going to write it uh, slightly above. So you see, you need a lot of space. So please organize your space next time. So I'm going to use next page. Yep, good. So 10, 56, T equal to 40. So t is equal to uh, 4, so it's uh, uh, 224. So that's the total. Oh. So you go back to the, so this is 224, right? So what they ask, how many bits did the three girls take all together? 224. But you still have the left 52, right? Okay. So therefore, you need to take 224 minus the 52. So the answer should be 178, nope. Well, yeah, 172. Because they asked for how many bits did the three girls take. So they take 172. Sabo? Did you get the question? Did you get this correct? Yeah. 